Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Taking it another step. Uh, last year, uh, damn near two years now, we went into the pandemic. Like, yeah. what was that like? And what is it still like? Because we're still in it right now. I think that was the best thing that could have ever happened for me. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> Wasn't no pandemic for me. Uh, if you tell people <coughs> not to do something, what are they gonna do? <coughs> you know, they're gonna like wanna do the opposite of that. So like, oh, you can't do tattoos. You know, you can only do, you only go to the grocery store and shit like that. So nah, tattoos were popping off. Yeah. And I was also working at a dispensary that sold medical weed, so like, you know, they had the license to stay open. So I had that job until I got fired and then I just did tattoos full time. Yeah. You know, it just it ended up working out because the pandemic went crazy with the tattoos. And then I also got to like lock in creatively. You know, I got to like really hone in and like make music since I was like, all right, I can work on my own time now and I can literally make music whenever. Like yeah. literally my homies making beats right now as we speak in my room so that was also the best part of it you can have like your creative freedom so it helped me just like piece together everything like all right what kind of music am i really going to make how am i going to present myself who's going to be enzo ferrari you know, so pandemic for me was the best thing that could have happened so, uh, talking your creative process, like, when you do lock in, like, is it like this, like, beats are being made and you kind of just vibing out until you, like, yeah, so, pull that up? Pretty much, yeah, either that, either, like, you know, sometimes I'll have beats made or we just make some shit from scratch. Like, literally, like, play a riff or just play, like, a drum pattern, you know, either or, and then whatever sparks the vibe. I'll just go. I like to smoke and, and drink, really, just like a couple beers, and then that'll just get the creative juices flowing. And then just talk shit, jump around, get in the vibe. So it's either or. I kind of really like making, I've been liking making songs from scratch, you know, lately. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, like the song we made yesterday, he like laid down some riffs. And I was like, yo, that sounds really good. Like, throw some drums on it. And threw some drums on it and then some midi and then like mixed it and then I wrote the lyrics so yeah, yeah. it's really fun doing it like that because then you see it like build from, from the that, bottom yeah, yeah. so yeah, that's yeah, that's that's, that's the fun part that's I've been liking that recently and especially like when it's people you fuck with it starts like y'all catch that groove to the point where some days you might just uh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. knock them out. exactly so that's that's the fun part about building the beats from the or building the songs from the ground up is seeing it grow. So. But sometimes you do hear a beat and you're just like, all right, pull that up, I want it, yeah. you know. But lately, I like the whole building process. Okay, so and this is just another thing, like like I feel like it's just notorious. Um, LA parties, if you've been to any, I hear like, you know, LA parties are the craziest parties. I threw one and they're pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> um, my buddy Malcolm, shout out to Porn Hoodies, he throws crazy parties. Like, he could throw a party, yo, because if you want a hundred naked bitches to pull up to a function and then a hundred more motherfuckers. On top of those hundred motherfuckers to pull up, like he can get that many people in a warehouse and like get it jumping. So, and then same with the Hollywood Hills parties. You know, I've ended up at a couple celebrities' houses, and it's just like, whoa, how did I end up in this house? It's like a nice ass, like probably like hundred million dollar house <laughs> right in the hills. So, is it true what they say? Like they make you leave your phones at the door, and shit, sign. Um, or if you can talk about it, no, I don't want to. Not the ones that I've been to, um, but you know, I, I haven't been to like a Drake party yet. So, oh, okay, yeah. but 
I've been to some parties where they make you sign waivers and they're like, yeah, you got to fill out your information before you come in. And it's like, holy shit. You're like, whoa. But other than that, like the warehouse parties are just like, all right, 10 bucks, get in. Come on, all man. right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, and then just be turned. So I think it's all about access and who you know out here. The best thing to do is to go to parties so you can market and meet other people and like know where you're going to fit in out here. Because everybody, like, it is a small ass city. A lot of people know like, everybody. Everybody really does know everybody. So just going out to the parties will get you familiar with people. So the more they open the shit, you know, you're going to get sick or not. You know, coronavirus, flu, fucking whatever the fuck, sore throat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got all these other sicknesses, you know what I mean? They're just gonna open, they're gonna slowly open things back up and it's already happening, so like the shows are popping up. So I'm seeing my homies get booked and shit now. So the shows are coming back, which is good. Vaccine, you got it or you? Yeah, I had to, yeah. I had to, yeah. Nah, I saw like, it's becoming a lot. Cause like I said, I'm from Texas where like, it's still somewhat optional. You don't have to wear masks and shit. Yeah, but, same with Florida. Yeah, uh, but I saw like the child is starting to have like vaccination cards to go in. This, you have to have them to go into certain places. Yeah, honestly, I just flew to New York and like you had to show that card to get into anywhere, pretty Damn. much. So it's kind of crazy with that. But I did it in the sense of like protecting other people because I'm gonna open up for. Uh, some people in Florida and you know for their sake I was like yo I'll take whatever precautions you need me to take so I can get on the show because it's a pretty big show and they were like yo we just need you to get vaxxed and then you need to get a rapid test the day before and the day of so you know they're, they got that popping up so I think that's probably what's going to be like a hustle you know it's like COVID rapid testing, like right outside the venues and shit. So, Ooh, yeah, because you know, they were charging like forty, fifty dollars a head to like yeah. get the rapid <laughs> test, so you can go right in if you ain't got a vax card. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's that's a fucking hustle right yeah. there. Hey, you can't keep hundred dollars on tissue right now. Exactly. You know, they had like the whole booth and shit, so if you could get that hustle up, you know, that that might be a thing, like that we start to see now with yeah. the shows. It's just rapid tests, like whether or not you have the vaccine. So that's what I think. And so, like you said, just going into this next year, is there anything like else that we can expect, you know, coming this year or going early into next year? I'm gonna try to drop two more music videos, but the way my director works is like, we might just put out like, one of those extra music videos. I do have a music video about to drop in October, so I'm hoping to drop two more. If not, I'll drop one more. <laughs> you got homie in the back. You know, we're cooking up, so I'm sure he just is about to show me some banger. Um, and then hopefully an EP to like two music, two more music videos, and then an EP. That's what I'm gonna roll out for me. Uh, EP is going to be called Father Figure, and then the singles I'm still working on, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it consistent with the videos, it's just, it's really about timing, you know, I'm like still building my fan base, 